Hello my dear students and viewers welcome to my channel Scorpio class In this video we are going to discuss revised syllabus 2022 of class 9 history and here we are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter India from 6th to 14th century so this video is going to be very helpful for you all so stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it and my dear viewers and students if you want the previous lessons notes question and answers of class 9 history of the revised syllabus you can visit the description box to find the link and the link will also be shared in the i button above now let's get started but before that my dear viewers if you're watching my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos and my dear students now let's get started without any further delay with our notes we have first main fill in the blanks with suitable words first one the founder of Gurjara Pratihara Rajput dynasty was Dash Harish Chandra second Prithviraj Chauhan defeated Dash in the first battle of terrain Muhammad Ghori next the chief commander of Muhammad Ghori was Dash Kutubuddin Aibak. Next, the first woman to rule among the Delhi Sultans was Dash, Razia Sultana. Next, the famous Sultan of the Kilji dynasty was Dash, Alauddin Kilji. Next, the capital was shifted from Delhi to Dash during the rule of the Tughlaq. Devagiri. So these are the fill in the blanks with the answers. Now let's move to the next main that is answer the following questions. First question explain the contributions of the Rajput kings in the field of literature. Answer the Rajput kings have contributed a lot to the field of literature. The kings like Boja and Munja were scholars. All the dynasties who ruled in different parts of North India gave shelter to poets and scholars of different languages. Many works have been written in Sanskrit and other regional languages. Next question. List the important rulers of Karkutas of Kashmir. Answer. The important rulers of Karkutas of Kashmir were Raja Durlab, Durlabha Vardhana, Bala Ditya, Lalita Ditya. Next question. Describe in brief the administrative system under Iltamash. Answer. The administrative system under Iltamash. Iltamash extended his empire by defeating many Rajput kings and many sultans. He divided his kingdom into provinces and to oversee the administration, provincial officers were appointed. Forty sardars were appointed to advise the sultan in central administration and justice. The prime ministers and the judges helped the emperor in administration. He brought gold and silver coins into circulation. He completed the construction of Qutub Minar. He was known for the judicial system. So this answer is in the points so that you can easily remember it. These are the administrative system under al -Tabash. Next question. What are the administrative reforms of Alauddin Kilji? Answer, the administrative reforms of Alauddin Khilji. Alauddin Khilji brought about many reforms in administration. He abolished religious endowments, inams, land and subsidy. He established efficient intelligence network. He abolished the consumption of alcohol, drugs and gambling. He also banned social gatherings of his lieutenants, then socialization with the public 
and intercast marriages. He directed his lieutenants to collect heavy tax from the public. Next question. What are the administrative reforms brought in practice by Muhammad bin Tughlaq? Answer. Muhammad bin Tughlaq was a scholar in different fields. He was the Sultan of Delhi, conceiving several visionary plans in his administrative reforms. So one of these reforms were revenue reforms. By establishing the Department of Agriculture, some revenue reforms were enforced. He increased the taxes in Daub areas, for example, Ganga Yamuna Daub. Next reform was shifting of capital. To locate the capital at the center of his kingdom, he ordered to shift his capital from Delhi to Devagiri. He failed to make suitable arrangements for the implementation of his reform. And the next reform was practice of symbolic coins. Initially, he had brought gold and silver coins into circulation. Then he brought copper and brass coins into circulation. The private people also started minting these coins which resulted in chaos. Now, next point, next reform was Tekken policy. Muhammad bin Tughlaq carried on his administration in the areas he had conquered in the Deccan. Okay, so these are four reforms under the heading revenue reforms, shifting of capital, practice of symbolic coins, and Deccan policy. You can elaborate and write this answer in this way. Next question. Give an example for the contributions of the Delhi Sultans to art and architecture. Answer. The contributions of the Delhi Sultans to art and architecture. The Delhi Sultans introduced a new style of architecture known as Indo-Islamic style. Arches, domes, minarets from the main features of this style. The construction of Qutub Minar was started by Abak and completed by Iltamish. Many forts, mosques, palaces, public buildings, madrasas were built. Many bridges, canals, rest houses, etc. were also built. Alai Darwaza is the tallest door in India. Some new towns were built by these sultans. They built Jame Masjid, Firoz Shah's tomb, Tughlaqabad. These are some of the examples of this style of art. Next question. What was the result of the first battle of Panipat? Answer. Babur invaded India and in the first battle of Panipat in 1526, he defeated Ibrahim Lodi and established Mughal rule. So students, this question, this topic is not elaborated in this chapter in your textbook, but there was just few lines which is given here as answer for your question. So with this question, we finish the notes, the question and answers of this chapter. I hope this answers were helpful and informative for you all. If you found the video helpful and informative and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. To subscribe to the channel, copy your class and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.